than a month after the Rapid Ride G Line launched, uh, connecting some of Seattle's busiest neighborhoods, crews are already planning repairs on some sloppy construction issues. Yeah, Fox 13's Shira Matsuzawa joins us now with a look at the fixes on the to do list and what they mean for those who ride the line. Shira? Well, crews began work on Friday with the Seattle Department of Transportation characterizing these work orders as finishing touches that won't affect the bus service. Now, Metro says crews are correcting coding and welding issues on 25 recently installed rapid ride G-Line bus shelters. An uneven paint job, substandard joint work and holes in the frames have left the shelters vulnerable to rusting. A more complex fix is needed for some center median stops along the line, which aren't the correct height for wheelchairs access. Before service started, King County Metro had a testing period. During the testing period, we discovered that there were three bus stops that were a fraction of an inch off in height. And so we implemented an effective short-term solution to put a metal plate to slightly raise the pavement in order to make sure that alignment was there so that the wheelchair ramps continue to work smoothly. A permanent fix might involve adjusting the bus suspension or the platform base. No word yet, though, on how long or how much money this will all take. The $144 million G-Line took three years to build. It runs from Seattle's Capitol Hill to First Hill, Central District, and Madison Valley neighborhoods. In the newsroom, Shira Matsuzawa, Fox 13 News.